What's up, New World Defenders? This is Jerry here. Today I want to talk about labels. Now, we call things good all the time. We call things bad all the time. But what does it really mean when we call something good and we call something bad? Well, in my opinion, when we say something's good, we're qualifying the existence of that which is bad. And when we say something is bad, we're qualifying the existence of something that is good. Now, here's the crazy thing about this. I don't know if you guys have read it, but there's a book out there called The Tao Te Ching. And this book was written by an ancient Chinese philosopher shortly before he committed suicide upon request. And no, he wasn't requested to commit suicide. He was requested to write this book after having said that he was going to commit suicide. I'll have a link somewhere in this general area where you can check out that book. It's a great book. Pretty much, it says, the Tao Te Ching literally translates to, well, it's debatable, but the way that shall be named is not the way. And when we say our economy is good, then we're qualifying the existence of a bad economy. We have to have something to compare that economy to. When we say that our economy is bad, there has to be a good economy out there, again, to compare that economy to. So, another thing that I wanted to mention is that I have some mental health issues, obviously. You guys didn't know I was nuts? Now you know. So, I've been in and out of these institutions for most of my life. And I've been hit with all these labels. Jerry, you're depressed. Jerry, you're bipolar. Jerry, you have schizoaffective disorder. Jerry, you have ADD. Jerry, you have OCD. Well, what does it mean? What does it really mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means I have symptoms of depression. It means I have symptoms of bipolar disorder. It means I have schiz uh, symptoms of schizoaffective disorder. It means I have symptoms of ADD. It means I have symptoms of OCD. But does that really mean that I have those diseases? Or does it mean that I have qualities of those diseases, aka symptoms? So, when we say that our economy is bad, which most people would agree with me at this moment, that our economy is bad, are we really saying that our economy is all bad, or are we just saying that our economy is showing symptoms of a bad economy? Now, in the medical health world, when someone shows symptoms of having, let's say, depression, they tend to treat the symptoms, not the label, the depression itself. So they give you a pill based on what, what you tell the doctor, or they recommend therapy because uh, maybe you suffered a traumatic instance in your life and you need to talk about that in order to live a higher quality of life. Now. What we can do for our economy isn't just sit back and say, this economy is bad. Because what good does that do? What good does a label do? What good has a label ever done? That's all I'm saying. We can find that pill that's going to fix an aspect of our economy, or we can find that type of therapy, or find that life coach who's going to fix a certain symptom of a bad economy, but by calling it a bad economy, isn't going to do anything about it. It's just going to name it. And it's also going to qualify a good economy that's probably going to come in and take over our bad economy. So if you guys really want something to change, quit labeling it. Do something about it. Find that pill. Find that therapy. Find that life coach. You know what I'm saying? Exercise a little bit. Exercise... You know, if you got a bad back, right, you got to do exercises to help so that you can, you know, have a higher quality of life. If, if, you, if you ever broke your arm, you know, as soon as you get that cast off, that that arm's going to be weak and you need to work that out again so that it can, it can, you know, be as good as the other arm. You know what I'm saying? So, all, all I want to get across, if I get nothing across to you guys is stop the labels, forget about the labels, forget about all that. Just try to fix the symptoms. That's all. Peace.